guys, I got a big announcement for you guys. Say stay gaming. So as you all know, my last TikTok got hacked, whatever, and uh, I'm on a new TikTok, Cadenly151. Go follow that one. But I also want to point out that uh, I've been using Athenioscope for a while. Yes, Athenioscope, the editing AI software, which is shutting down April 5th. And it was a great platform to use in line with Twitch. Well, Twitch is having a hard time with it growing, and since I had to redo a new TikTok, and what I found out is I gained more followers on YouTube and doing it live. Live is one of those places where I really like YouTube for, for the following that it gives me and everything. To the point where I'm going to be going YouTube live from now on. And uh, I will still be Twitch live though. But here's how that's going to work. I use a software called um, Aircast, I think is what it is. And I pay like 4 bucks a month adding a stream to it basically. But like... Um, I do a lot for my phone, and I run it in the background, basically, and run my web page as a desktop site and run that. But uh, basically, Twitch will be the stream now into YouTube Live, basically, since I don't use OBS. And the reason I don't use OBS, and I use Twitch instead, is because Twitch's OBS is amazing. So I'll still have the stream for editing content, right? But then I'll have the YouTube Live, so you'll still be able to hear everything, right? So I can still use Twitch as an editing software, but still go live. Right, I need to, so the chat will be actually run on YouTube Live. So I'll be going YouTube Live, I'll be running the chat on there, and that'll basically be an extra stream for anything editing, right? And I think that's the way I want to move forward, and I think YouTube down the road is a lot better. Plus, the video, I'm already doing YouTube as is. It's kind of extra to be doing Twitch, and so I would gain a lot more money. It would take longer on YouTube, yes, but it would gain more money down the road. And I see that in line. And I also see my channel already being bigger on YouTube right now. This is anyhow to where it's not really worth it. I have gained about four to five on Twitch, but uh, yeah, basically it's in one extra step to basically put the stream key into Aircast for Twitch to put the output over to YouTube. Other than that, I actually would say that the uh, video looks a lot better on YouTube with the stream source. Even the Twitch is crappy looking because the stream output. This is so much better, but I, uh, if need be, I will, if Twitch ever dies or OBS is not the greatest, we will go back and use some OBS from YouTube, but I think it's more stable to run it through Twitch as a stream, especially since I'm running to my Xbox here, which is great, because this Xbox provides, this Xbox Series X provides a really good stream, but I wanted to make this announcement for you guys to let you guys know here on YouTube for all my subscribers out there that, hey, I'm going live here on YouTube from now on. And uh, also, I want to point out one more thing. Stay tuned to the end of this video. But uh, Twitch now allows you, or YouTube allows you to go live under 1K now from your phone. You can go live, but you get more things at 1K. And there's still no way to output a stream into a console or stream through YouTube unless using OBS. Which, whatever it is, it's whatever. But, uh, yeah, Aircast still keeps my views up without limiting views. Like, if you transfer, like, TikTok videos, for instance, to YouTube Shorts or something, you get monetized heavily. I don't get that when using Aircast because it's just stream porting over stream ports, basically. The other thing, when you're running a TikTok, you have to put a URL in so they don't monetize your, 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 your uh, you don't, they'll promote you better, basically. It's not really they're monetized. It's not they're promoting you better. It's still going to get monetized. No way around that one. But you will essentially go out and get a little more views. And the simple feature is URL. That's a little quick tip there as well for anyone interested in that. But long story short, I I, I like YouTube a little bit more. And not just for the stable future down the road thing. But I think they have security in mind a lot better than what Twitch did as well. I've noticed that they're banning people from live and getting on top of that a lot quicker than Twitch was. And... I noticed that uh, once they're banned on YouTube, they can't go back and you live and watch it. Like, it's something that Twitch is really frustrating when you're getting streams that they do that. So YouTube has that a little bit more handled. And I think YouTube was quick to, I had a guy that was what, putting 10 bot accounts on my account one time. It's ridiculous. They banned every one of them. Called it suspicious. And I sat there and was like, that's when I knew YouTube was going to run my chat really well. And their AI software is not always the best. They always sometimes get things wrong. Like one time I had a video they were trying to ban me because it was racist apparently. But it wasn't. But, well, um, yeah. 
they were basically able to, yeah, fix that up for me real quick. And we got back on track. And I and we, YouTube's been really quick about getting back to me about everything they do. And YouTube's just a, a platform I would support more because of the user friendliness and the way they support their streamers a lot better. Also, I want to try to get on early on. There's not a lot of people streaming on live on YouTube as much as Twitch. Getting on this early is going to help me a lot better down the road because I'll be one of their bigger streamers down the road when it becomes really big. And that's something where I think now's a good time to be getting into YouTube for anyone out there. With that being said, I think YouTube's going to be my new home. And I'm, and I'm going to put that, and I'm going to also still be posting TikToks, don't worry. But, but I'm going to keep YouTube in line with TikTok. And I still want to keep Twitch, but uh, expect all chats now to basically just be ran through YouTube. So don't expect any chat on Twitch. Expect it all to be ran through YouTube. But I will still be live on Twitch because it's a stream platform. And in case I need to edit anything, it, you'll still hear voices through both, basically. It's, but yeah. I want to let you guys know. Stay safe out there, guys. GG's. And this has been your boy, Haystack Gaming. And uh, that's been the announcement. Me to you guys.